What's up, guys? Um, okay, my bad. What's up, guys? Um, so this is a video response. Let me, let me just kind of tell you that guy something for now. Um, I was supposed I wanted to do a video response to another video, which um, I, I I really think the community really needs to see, but I think I'm gonna save that for uh, a video response in my uh, versus E channel because you know, like I said, I I really think a lot of people really need to see that video. Uh, but, uh, I guess for now, I want to post a video response to this subject, uh, the Bandai vs. TZ Hanley uh, video responses, and I was refraining, I was kind of solid on not posting a video response because, well, this, uh, this discussion has already been brought up before, and in a different way, and, you know, watching everyone else do their video responses and everything, it's like, you know, I kind of want to, kind of... It kind of got me motivated and inspired to, I guess, post my uh, response. And I can't recall my initial response um, way back when the when this issue was brought up before. So I guess like let me bring it up again. I don't know if it's going to be the same or if it's going to be different, but I guess I, I'll bring it up now. Um, so first off, if you don't know what I've been going through, you know that I don't have any new model kits. Like, seriously, I don't have any new model kits. Anything that I've been reviewing is things that I've had before and never built. Or, you know, it's just been laying around and, you know, never built. Or it's something that I that I uh, have had and just never reviewed yet. Um, but essentially, I haven't had any new model kits. Uh, I The newest model kit, in terms of, uh, like, to date... The newest model kit has to be Master Grid X Ignition Mode. And when did that come out? It came out in July. And I didn't start building it until friggin' September. And I don't even remember when I did the review. Yeah, it came out in Ju I think it came out in July. Either it came out in July or September. And I didn't get it until July. Or no, I didn't get it until September. Um... I don't know something something like that. I, I it was it probably stayed with Misaki Lee for the month of August, and then I got it in September. So I, yeah, probably I've had, the last model kit I had was base the last purchase. And I'll be honest with you, every single reservation I've had since then was canceled because I wanted to save money because I wanted to you know invest my money in more important things. You guys know that. So it's been seven months, roughly seven months, since my last actual full purchase of a model kit. And anything that I've reviewed since then is, you know, like I said, something that I've had and just haven't reviewed yet. And, yeah. So, with Prime 92's um, videos of TT Hongli brand knockoffs and things like that, it's been really tempting to pick up a TT Hungry brand model kit uh, especially like Sinanju that's like a very high demand model kit but the price is just not very you know healthy for our wallets um, or for us in general because 70 or 80 freaking dollars for a model kit like that as great as it is and I understand why it's so expensive just doesn't it just doesn't make sense and I can understand why a lot of you would have to turn to a TT Hongli brand because what it's like thirty bucks on Alter Hobby, something like that. So you're saving fifty bucks, more or less, uh, maybe less because I'm including shipping and things like that. But anyway, so that leads me to the to the point I'm trying to make here. I because I, ha I haven't bought any uh, new any new model kits or anything like that. And, you know, okay, this doesn't count, like, small things like comic books and things like that. I have been buying books and comic books. And just because it's, you know, I want to read and things like that rather than spend my time on a chair building something and kind of, you know, intoxicating myself with plastic and fumes of paint and things like that. But anyway, just because I haven't bought a new model kit, I don't think it's enough for me to really want to turn to a knockoff brand. Uh, before, I've really considered it. I really have considered it. Like, the... I forgot what it's called. Musha Gundam Master Grade. That's one that's really nice. 
and from the TT Hongwei brand review that Prime 92 did, it was very convincing for me to just order it. And, uh, you know, like I said, Sinanju and a whole bunch of other model kits, like some resin kits I've, I've seen. I'm going to tell you this. The farthest I've gotten with TT Hongli, or at least Walter Hobby store, is I've gone to their checkout page, but I was very hesitant to click the submit or the checkout button or whatever. It was I was there. I had my four model kits ready to be purchased. And I was like, I think I'll wait. So, and it's partially because I, because of the time that I that I have been, you know, I guess, purchase list. I don't know what you want to call it. I've kind of been like disciplined to not spend on things when I could wait instead. So it's not even because it's all you know. It's not even because like. Um, OTT Hong is cheaper and I probably enjoy it and because I'm I'd have to say a relatively good enough modeler for me to make the adjustments like Prime 92 does and still enjoy the model kit which I can imagine me doing I can definitely imagine me doing that I don't know it's just not enough for me to want to turn to TT Hong Lee. I'm not saying I've cons like I said I'm c I've considered it but at, th at this point where I am now I'm perfectly fine with just saving my money waiting for you know an opportune moment and get the actual Bandai brand. So I, I I probably would have to say I'm siding with Bandai. Um, you know, like like I said, I've considered it. I've considered TT Hongwei. I've considered buying knockoffs uh, simply for the fact that, okay, if they're cheaper and uh, the same the same uh, way Prime 92 uses the knockoffs is Prime 92 uses it as a different level of modeling. And I understand where she's coming from. Um, you know, some some of you out there may disagree, because uh, I do understand the idea of supporting Bandai um, and things like that. But okay, I I see the uh, the uh, the process of working with a knockoff to better you as a modeler, because you know there are things that you need to adjust and things like that, and it resorts to having to shave things and glue things and paint things and you know things you know just stuff like that. And yeah, it will it will help you. It will help you out. And here I am playing devil's advocate again, um, but you know I, I I just I myself personally would not resort to TT Hongli just just for me to just for me to have a kit. I think a lot of us as you know modelers and collectors we just want things to have things like you know uh, a lot of us probably want them for the build experience. A lot of us want them for the wow experience. You know when you look at your shelf and you're like. That's a pretty damn good looking model kit, you know. Uh, but as for me, I I <laughs> I don't know if this is something to blame, but I have this OCD with keeping things genuine and keeping things real and things like that. It, it's nothing against knockoffs. I I understand the reason behind them. I mean, if it was such a problem, Bandai would have done something about it years ago. To tell you the truth, but that's not me supporting knockoffs at all. I will, I am 100% with Bandai. I think at this point, after all the things that have been going on with me, I think I'm going to have to just stick with Bandai. Like, I don't care if the TT Hongli kits are cheaper. Um, and, you know, it makes sense. You're paying for a cheaper kit. You're also paying for the same amount of quality. You're paying $20 for something that should be twice as much. You're going to get what you're paying for, basically. You want to pay for the full forty dollars of whatever model kit it is. You're gonna get the full quality. All right, it makes sense. You're gonna pay half of the same thing. You're only gonna get half the quality, and you know you gotta you gotta understand what you're getting yourself into, basically. So uh, all I gotta say is, if you're gonna buy TT Hongli brands, know what you're gonna get yourself into. But if you're gonna stick with Bandai, you already know what you're gonna get yourself into: high quality but expensive kits. So, you know, I guess that's me being neutral, but uh, in all honesty, I am pure Bandai. Yeah, pure Bandai. All right, uh, that's my response, and, uh, you know, keep this going, guys, and I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching.